Hey, how you doing? It's Dude Man Show, and uh, we are uh, hiking uh, about 10 miles from Damascus. We have already did 10 miles from Damascus yesterday on 420, and um, today is April 21st, and we are going up towards White Top Mountain, which is up near Mount Rogers, and uh, quite a climb today. I'm going from around 3,000 feet up to about 5,000 feet. And uh, it should be a pretty interesting day. Uh, what's so cool about this section of the trail is that uh, there is a uh, Virginia Creeper Trail along this section. And the Virginia Creeper Trail used to be part of the railroad that uh, come to this section of Virginia. And uh, the... Uh, what has happened, the railroad is no longer used as that particular part of the track. The track has been taken up, and now it is a bicycle path. And you can ride from the top of White Top all the way down into Damascus. And it's just a very, very cool trail, and mainly downhill coming from White Top going into Damascus. I can't remember the exact mile. It's like 13 miles or something like that. And... Um, so, uh, but as you can tell, as we're coming up here, we're coming up to the Virginia Creeper Trail. And it goes both ways, goes on up. Uh, uh, usually you get a shuttle from Damascus up there to the top, where White Top is. And uh, you uh, uh, ride your bicycles all the way back down to the bike shop. And uh, the uh, silver bridges along the way. And this is the actual Creeper, uh, Virginia Creeper Trail. And I'm going the wrong way right this minute, uh, just because I want to show you guys this, uh, this section. Uh, but there's a bridge there, and this used to be part of the railroad, like I said. And uh, so cool. Certain times of the year, you would almost get run over by bicycles there because there's so many bicycles that are coming down here. And... Uh, so, uh, there's some beautiful views along the way uh, as you're bicycling down through here. Bring your water or two with you, maybe some snacks. But there are some restaurant uh, burger places along the way that you can get food. But uh, this is a very unique opportunity to see this area. It is really, really crowded in the fall. But, uh, pretty neat thing to do guys uh why i got you on the videos i want to talk to you a little bit about my hike the past week uh last week on uh monday i did 21 miles coming out of uh roan mountain area went up and over roan mountain down into carver's gap up and over jane bald and uh round bald and little hump mountain and hump mountain did 21 miles that day Kind of wore me down a little bit. Uh, I was only able to do maybe 12 on Tuesday. And uh, Wednesday I did like uh, maybe 10 or 10 to 14. So low uh, average miles that day. But uh, Thursday I did 16 miles and was around the Watauga Lake area. And then did 22 miles on Saturday. Felt so good Saturday morning. I was doing like 2.5 to 2.7 miles per hour. And uh, about halfway through the journey, I had Majestic to meet me at a, uh, a gap, McQueen Gap, I think it was. And about an hour before I got there, I started getting lame. My right knee felt like someone was sticking a knife in it every time I took a step down. Tough day. Tough day. I did not think I was going to be able to complete the rest of that journey. And uh, uh, what I did, I uh, took some uh, ibuprofen and uh, put some uh, medicine on the knee that I rubbed in and uh, put a knee brace on. And uh, it still hurt a little bit, but the compression of the knee brace helped secure it up and help me to continue on well uh but I, and i completed my 22 miles that's a lot of miles for a 61 year old but i was able to continue walking continue doing it 
Fortunately, Sunday had a zero day. Spent it in Damascus, hung out with some of Majestic's uh, um, relatives, and had a good day of rest. Um, so here it is, Monday, yesterday, and uh, came out of Damascus, did an easy 10, and uh, still wearing the knee brace, and here it is, uh, Tuesday morning, the 21st, still got the knee brace on. Knee feels pretty good going uphill, and uh, really not bothering me a lot going downhill, but I know that if I don't take it easy, I'm gonna hurt myself. In excruciating detail, what I'm trying to tell you is, if you're 61 years old, you can't hike like, <laughs> like you're 20 and 30 years old. It, you got to take it easy. I still have 1,900 miles to go and I need to take it easy. I gotta, I gotta make sure that I can continue along this journey and continue along and, and, and make it uh, to the end. And I can't be hiking that hard. Yes, I do need to get those big mile days in. Yes, I do need to get 21, 22, maybe even, even higher miles if I can, if it's available, if it's, a, if it's there, if it's, it's a possibility. But I can't, I can't be trying to do it at a 20, I mean a 2.5, 2.7 mile per hour pace. Got to keep my pace down and try to make it so I don't hurt myself. So uh, the uh, that, all that being said, uh, just I just want to be more more careful and, and make sure I'm able to uh, continue on this journey that, for the long suit. Well, uh, that's it for now. Uh, that's the end of this particular segment, the Dude Men Show. And uh, we're going to continue along and uh, along the Virginia Creeper Trail for a little while and uh, enjoy this trek through here. Easy walking, all course, but I got to go up on White Top. So, catch you guys later.